talking about corners in this year's NFL draft. Uh, you know, we're, we're early on in evaluating these guys, and uh, you know, we've had a good chance to look at them during the season. Uh, the first guy we're going to talk about is Kool-Aid McKinstry, a corner from Alabama. You know, and we think he has the potential to be a top 10 pick. He's definitely a first rounder. He's a physical corner with ideal size and athletic skill for the position. He's a fluid, easy mover, uh, allows him to mirror route breaks uh, throughout the route tree. Excellent plant and drive when the ball's in the air. He's consistent staying with his man with the ability to stay in phase with speed up the field. He handles the fast receivers. He's an effective zone defender. He balances routes in overlapping zones. He's sudden reacting to the quarterback's delivery key. So he's got a good feel for the processing route combination. Obviously a good man corner. He's a physical and run support with solid tackling skills. He can improve his ball skills. Uh, he doesn't locate the ball in phase. He, he just still does a good job attacking the catch point, but he's not a guy that does a great job locating that football you know, when it's in the air. We can work on that. He's a guy that is going to be an outstanding cover corner in the NFL that can do a lot of things well. He's also a good returner. Okay, the next guy is Cooper DeGene. You know, we like him as a versatile player. He's got experience at safety. He's played nickel. He's got desirable size for a corner. Uh, he's experienced in multiple coverages. He's got a really good football IQ. He's at his best as an off cover guy, whether it's man or zone. He's a better zone defender. He's been effective, however, in press and press and bail concepts as they've used some multiple concepts at Iowa. Deliberate pedal usually maintains cushion and at times is transitioning to lateral turn and run real well. In press, he flashes is an offhand jam to disrupt the release. And he's got solid short area agility. He shows excellent instinct and in zone coverage. Adept at hard corner technique with the ability to sink under intermediate routes after rerouting a receiver. Remarkable ball skills. He anticipates the throw with vision to read the delivery key and ability high point the ball. He gets to the catch point and wins most 50-50 battles. He has tremendous return skill as well. And, uh, and that's a plus. He, he's going to be a very productive player no matter where they use him. And his versatility will allow him to, to play multiple spots in that secondary. The next guy is Nate Wiggins from Clemson. Good length, tall corner, two-year starter, uh, all ACC. A long guy with uses his frame well. Excellent press corner. He's patient, ignores the first move away from his leverage consistently. His length gives him his advantage using a two and offhand jam to disrupt routes. Easy turn and run. He can mirror routes off the line and is very sudden in transition. Lateral agility and footwork allow him to break down and stick double moves. The solid zone defender with vision to see the quarterback and balance route. Quick to plant and drive with the ball in the air. Can be a little inconsistent with his footwork with some extra rounded off steps at times. Not the most physical tackler as he has some misses and will give up yards after contact. Occasionally will jump a route prematurely putting him out of position, but he's got solid tools. He'll be a good prospect to develop in the NFL. Karrion Arnold from Alabama, another Alabama corner. Two-year starter, he started his career as a safety with some work in the slot, made a remarkable transition to corner, and is still considered an ascending player. He's a good press cover guy. He can be physical, disrupting the release. He's very sticky in man coverage. He's adept at mirroring route breaks. He has very, very little window throughout the route. Patience and press. He ignores the first move away from his leverage and consistently stays with that inside leverage and man coverage. Fluid hips and footwork create sudden transitions reacting and breaking on the ball. Uh, length and size show up and run support and tackling while working downhill. Uh, he's an improving zone defender but needs to close voids quicker and play with a more consistent cushion and off coverage. He has elite tools and skill to work with. The next guy is Quinion Mitchell, somebody that our guys at the Senior Bowl really, really liked. You know, we watched film on him, and one of the questions we had was he's playing in the MAC conference, he's not seeing elite receivers, but down at the Senior Bowl, he's performed very well, and uh, and we we really think he's he's got a solid chance to be a good player. Great speed, highly productive corner in the MAC conference. Uh, size, length, and speed you look for. Fluid mover, no wasted movement reacting. He has some experience in the slot but primarily used in off zone and man coverage. Smooth pedal, precise cushion, times his transitions to stay with receivers throughout the route, you know, with those fluid hips, which allows him to do that. Excellent zone skills. He's quick to close voids and balances overlapping zones. Has a burst to break on the ball on underneath throws and has made some big hits in the process. Has the speed to stay with deep vertical routes and lock out a receiver up the field. Excellent ball skills with a knack for disrupting the catch point. Has been incredibly productive getting his hands on balls 
with pass breakups and interceptions. He's somewhat prone to double moves as he can be a little quick to jump a route uh, and it will give up leverage with, a premature, with some of those premature reactions. 